Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to set up your newly purchased Sawgrass SG400 or 800 printer. To get started, let's make sure all CMYK cartridges are installed in the proper slots. Open the ink cartridge panel and start by loading in the cartridges in the same way they are labeled underneath. First, we're going to start with black. Next, cyan. Magenta. And then lastly, yellow. Once finished, go ahead and close the panel. Next, plug in your AC power cord. And then your USB 2.0 printer cable into this compartment. After these are all connected, turn your printer on by pressing and holding this power button. You should see a blue LED light indicating that your machine is on. Now we can go ahead and plug in our USB cable into our computer. Once your printer is connected, you should see that Windows should automatically try to find your printer with the notice. As it's setting up, it should complete within a few seconds to a minute. And we're going to go to devices and printers. And just make sure that the SG400 or SG800 is showing right here. Once you see that, we're going to go ahead and start by installing our power driver. First, open your browser and go to sawgrassinc.com. Once you're here, we're going to go ahead and register for a free account. And you can register right here. Start by filling everything out here. Submit when it's all complete. Enter your first name, last name, your email, and then your password. Once you've completed the registration, you can now go ahead and log in. All right, now that you're logged in, the website will allow you to download uh, either the Power Driver or Creative Studio. When it clicks Software, Download, and Support, click Download Software down here. And we're going to start by entering the correct information so we can get the right driver. So since we're installing a Sawgrass Virtuoso printer, our ink cartridges are going to be the Sublijet HD. We're going to choose our printer, which is the SG400 or 800. Our operating system is a Windows. And here we can download the Power Driver. If you plan on using your own Corel or Adobe, install the Power Driver. If you plan on using Sawgrass's free web based design software, go ahead and install the Creative Studio Virtual Suprint Manager. But we're going to go ahead and click Power Driver and click Go. Under here, we're going to click Color Management Downloads. We have the SG400 for this video, so we're going to go ahead and click that. And we are going to click the Americas. 
Now, once you have this, you can either save it or run it. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and run it just so we can install it. But if you wanna save it for installing at another time, then you can go ahead and save it just so you can get back to it. Now, once that is complete, go ahead and install this software. Click OK for English, next, next, install. I accept the agreement, next. And we're gonna go ahead and add a new printer since this is the first time installing your printer. And we have it connected by a USB cable, so click next. Now here, they recommend that you turn off your printer before you start the installation. So we're gonna go ahead and shut off the printer real quick by holding down the power button until the blue light turns off. Now that your printer is off, we're gonna go ahead and click next. Install. Now we're gonna go ahead and plug in your USB and turn on your printer just so we can find the printer again. You can either set this as a default printer, but you don't have to. Um, I would recommend you do so, just so that when you're printing, it's always gonna select the power driver. So I would click yes. Click next. Set now. Click okay. And finish. Install. Now you do have to register the power driver within five days or else it will expire. So since you are a customer of theirs and ours, we're gonna go ahead and click yes to register right away. Now you'll be provided with the product ID and you have to enter the registration code to actually finish the setup here. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is click obtain registration code right here. Now it will take you into the Sawgrass page where you can actually now set up your new code. So put in your login information you just created. Under here, you're gonna see a new area for registration. So let's enter in everything else again. Once you're finished, go ahead and make sure the serial number is entered in correctly. The reseller that you bought it from, which would be Heat Press Nation, just go ahead and scroll down until you find it right there. Enter in the date uh, your printer was purchased. So go ahead and click right here, enter in the actual date that was purchased, and proof of printer purchase. I would recommend you go through your email address and type in Heat Press Nation for your invoice and print that out so you can upload it here. Registration reason, new registration, and click save. Now that you're complete, we're gonna go ahead and take this registration code. I would recommend double clicking this, right click and then copy. We're gonna open up our registration page here, right click it and paste it, that way you have the correct code. 
and apply registration code. And once you're done, it should let you know that your product has been registered fully. So now that we're complete here, we're gonna go ahead and reboot our computer. Uh, it is not necessary to reboot it, but if you wanna make sure everything went through correctly, you can go ahead and reboot it. For this video, we're gonna go ahead and reboot later and finish this here. Now, I'm gonna show you how to make sure your driver has been installed correctly. We're gonna go to the Start menu, we're gonna click the Settings. If you have Windows 7 or Windows 8, you can always go to your devices and printers by searching it or clicking the Start menu and go to your Control Panel. But for Windows 10, we're gonna go ahead and click Devices, and Devices and Printers should be right here. And as you can see, we have a, what's called a Power Driver V4, and we also have a Sawgrass SG400. We have two drivers because this is the main driver that connects the printer to the computer. This is actually the color profile driver that will actually correct your colors in every single print. So you want to always make sure that when you're selecting file print, you're selecting the power driver. This is very, very important. Do not ever print from Sawgrass because your colors will be off and it'll use too much ink for no reason. So make sure you print from power driver right here. But the first thing I want to show you here is if you right click the power driver and go to and go into printing preferences. You can go ahead and see all the configurations that you can make manually to make sure your prints are exactly how they should be for every single substrate and all the other settings. So since we have just a normal SG400 printer, we're gonna print from the main tray. You can always select the bypass tray if you have the bigger printer, but for this, we'll keep it main. Uh, we have letter paper installed, so we're going to keep it letter. If you do have a different size paper in there, you can always change it here. Uh, the substrate that we're going to be transferring onto would be anything listed here. We are doing mugs mostly, so we're going to go ahead and click ceramic. And then the paper is, of course, our text print R, which is recommended for all sawgrass printers. The, the orientation can be selected here, portrait or landscape. And just remember, mirror is always checked. So whenever you print anything out of the power driver, so that means when you have your graphic in your Adobe or Corel software and you go to file print, every single design is always gonna be mirrored. Do not mirror it, otherwise it'll come out backwards. If you don't want this feature, just go ahead and uncheck this and then apply and, and then hit the OK button. Uh, next we have here our color tab, which will show you how to Manage your colors. If you find that your image is a little too dull, you can always change the contrast, the brightness, and change some of the adjustments with the colors to match your preference. Uh, there's some preset color colors here that you can change. If you're doing graphics, like vector or solid color images, you can choose that for more vibrancy. If you're doing grayscale, you can choose that as well. If you're just doing images and photographs, you can keep it right here. And here are some of the things you can also change some of the values as well. Uh, driver is always gonna print from this guy right here, so make sure it's printing from the right printer. You can always change the speed, the quality, or advanced photo, depending on how you like it. Just remember, if you do advanced photo, it's gonna use more ink than usual. Our utilities tabs will show you exactly what you need to do for maintenance. If you have some parts of your image that is missing some inks, you might need to do a nozzle check head cleaning if you're getting streaking. So for example, if you leave your printer off for several days and weeks, you might get what's called banding. And th these are gonna be lines showing in your printer, showing that your print heads are actually dried out. But here's the thing, your printer has an automatic cleaning feature as long as you leave it on, and it'll clean its own ink heads by itself. So it's very, very rare that you're gonna have to do head cleaning, but for any reason that you might have moved and you actually have to turn your printer off for maybe several days or weeks, you might need to start by doing a head cleaning a few times. And everything else on here is just really just maintenance stuff. You can check, check your ink levels, you can do a full page color test just to make sure your colors are printed correctly, and then printing the primaries basically just primes your ink heads. And then on, over here, of course, you can access your technical support, buy ink and all that. Anytime you need help with any of this stuff, we'd recommend you go to heatpressnation.com under technical support, submit a ticket with us, and we'll definitely help you step by step. We always provide remote support on all of this, so if there's any questions, don't hesitate to ask. But once you have everything set up, you can click OK and close out of this, and now you're ready to print. 
All right, so if you want to start by printing a, any graphic of your choice, open your Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator software. We're just going to go ahead and load in our design. And if you're interested in printing this, just make sure that you go to File, then you're going to go to Print. And then right at the print screen, you can see that it automatically goes to the Sawgrass SG400 driver. Just but remember, you have to print from the power driver if you want the colors to come out correctly. So you want to click this right here, find your power driver, and this is where you can actually print it. If you actually make, need to make any last minute adjustments, whether your image is too large, you got to change the paper size, or anything like that, you can always go here. And this will bring up our printing preferences again, and you can always change it. If you want to change it to landscape or portrait, anything like that. But just remember, if you're printing, always select the power driver V4. If you have any further questions beyond what is explained in this video, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 1-800-215-0894 or visit our website at heatpressnation.com. On our website, you'll be able to select technical support and create a ticket with us so that a technician can be with you right away. And thanks for watching.